he's got to be pretty close to dead. There we go. There's that one. Well, I'm not going to see. Oh, I just rolled off. That's not what I wanted to do. This is unfortunate. What's up, everybody? Bass Games. Welcome back to Tomb Raider 1. Today, we're going into the second level of the Egyptian levels, and this one is known as the Obelisk of Kamun. All right, you notice that you start off this level at the end of the last level, and uh, you open these two doors. Let's go through them, and we're going to want to hop onto this uh, ledge right here. There is an opening here to the left that leads into a corridor, and at the end of this corridor, you'll find a keyhole with a door that's on the left and a room to the right that has another doorway. And indeed, the key is going to open up both of those doors. And if you want the key, um, it's behind one of these four movable blocks that's in this room. The one that you want to go behind to get the key is this one right here. All of these have something behind it, so we're going to go through each one here as, after I get the key. Now we're going to be swimming around here with some gators, so you just want to try to avoid them. If you want the key, you want to head to the left directly. And um, the key is going to be on this ledge right here. Let's see if we can't grab it real quick. Alligator's here, so let's see if we can't bait him and uh, destroy him. Bait him over here. Let's see if that worked. I'm going to pull out my magnum so it doesn't take forever. This guy is pretty good at uh, being elusive, too. Especially since there's holes in these uh, walls. Okay, so from here, the entrance is like right there. Uh, what you want to do, um, if you want the items, you want to go into the water and here, down here, go all the way to the bottom. There's gonna be a small med pack on the ground here. And also, there is uh, some magnum clips. That's gonna be a catacorner to the med pack. Grab those, and then we'll find the exit by going opposite of that. Now there is a save crystal on the ledge up above if you want to use it. And here's the exit. Okay, so now that you have the key, you can go throw that in the hole, and what you're going to want to do is move this block out, and then you can use that to hop into the door. But before we do that, before I do that, I'm going to take another direction, get some more items, get some kills. <laughs> Move this block out of the way. And then we can fall down into this hole. Pull out the magnets, we gotta fight a panther. And once he's gone, there's a lever down here we can pull. This lever is going to open up a door that's kind of blocking us from leaving this room. It's just up, up above here. And there's a small med pack on this ledge right here, so don't forget to grab that. And here's some more ledges we need to climb. And there's the door that we opened, so we just kind of run our way over to it. And from here, we want to do a standing jump into this little room right here. We don't want to fall in that hole just yet because there's a pickup right here. We got some magnum clips. Now we have that crap. Let's hop through this hole. And we don't want to go down in that hole again because that's the way we went before. We're back in this uh, room again with the movable blocks. Let's move this one out of the way if you want to. There's only an enemy back here. There's no items. It's just one panther. So if you want that kill, then go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get it. Might as well. Hey, he got me. Um, then there's also a panther behind this block, but there's also a small med pack if you want it. Let's move this out of the way. And this is also the block we're going to use to stand on in order to get into that door that's up on the wall. Take out our guns and blow this guy away. Ah, he got me too. Good job. Okay, but at the very end of this, there's a small med pack. Uh, let's see if we can't stand- wow. I can't seem to get on this thing. Man. I like how in the newer Tomb Raiders, they allow you to stand, like, in front of it, and you'll still be able to pick it up. It's, I don't understand why they didn't do it in this one, but anyway, here's a movable block. We need to move out, move this out twice. We're gonna move this into position so we can jump on the, uh, door up there. 
Okay, so it's in position. I'm gonna go and put the key in the hole. We're gonna open these doors. And, like I said, it's gonna open both of these doors, but the door that's over here near the keyhole, it, it opens up to an area that has uh, some water, and you see shotgun shells um, sitting on a ledge out there. Um, but we're gonna be coming into there anyway if we go this way, so... Uh, and this way takes us by a lever, so this is the proper way to go, for sure. And you just want to kind of hop your way up in here. Now you got to fight an Atlantean. Crazy guy up here. I recommend taking the shotgun out and just kind of taking him by surprise. Just run in there and, you know, let your gun blaze. And hopefully that works. I mean, otherwise you got to fight him in that little corridor. Okay, he was guarding this, this lever right here, and this is going to drop one of those bridges. One of these four bridges. Okay, so basically the whole idea of this level is you need to drop these bridges and claim the four pieces that are sitting around this obelisk. Okay, and these are the pieces that need to go into the obelisk in the last uh, video, if you remember that. We're going to be revisiting that at the end of this video. Okay, so now that we have that, we can actually just fall off into this water down here. And uh, there's a door to my left up here. A door right there. That door opened when I put the key in the hole. So, you don't, like I said, they both lead to the same area, so you don't need to worry about that too much. Alright, here's some uh, magnum clips, and also, if we get out of the water, we'll find some shotgun shells. Like I said, we're going to get those anyway. We saw these before, as we peered through that one door. Sweet, now that we have all that stuff, let's go through this opening we notice over here. Let's fall down onto the ramp. I can get onto it. And take out magnums or pistols or whatever. You're going to be shooting at enemies from a distance, so you don't need to worry about damage. Um, I'm gonna use the magnums. You can shoot these guys, and if they if they have a hard time baiting these guys, or if they're not coming at you, then you can take a hop back and just run off, and then do a backflip. It's a good way to get those guys come back so you can fire at them. Okay, now that they're perished, let's enter this room. You gotta climb all the way to the top here. Now here you want to align yourself. It's kind of a tricky jump. Um, run and jump over here, and then uh. Yeah, just run and jump here. Now, from here, we want to take a look to the left. There's a small med pack on the ledge over here, or a large med pack, actually. Let's go ahead and grab that, and we'll also take a note that there is a room down below that. And down in there, there are two Atlanteans that I'm just going to ignore. And if you want to fight them, I'll show you a good way to uh, go down in there. Um, there's a ledge right there. You can take you into the same room. And it's probably safer, you could probably just stand up there and shoot at the guys if you want to. Okay, let's make our way back. We want to climb up here and turn around. There's a ledge over here that's going to take us up to the top. So let's climb this thing. And in the distance there on the high ledge, you'll notice that there's a save crystal, so that's where we're going to go. And then there's another ledge over here to the left that uh, you're going to want to jump to. Um, and up here, there's going to be a crazy guy going nuts all over the place. We're going to take him out with a shotgun, just kind of approach here. He's going to come at you. Oh, he's standing still. Four shots, huh? That guy took four shots. Okay, so once he's taken care of, there's a lever over here. This is going to drop another one of those bridges. Okay, and just tap the look button if that gets annoying. And you'll notice that there's items over there on the ledge. We're not going to get those just yet. We're going to get those um, a little later. Um, but for now, there are uh, there are other items we can get. There's a small med pack down here. There's this thing. And then there's also some magnum clips. Two sets of magnum clips here. Okay, let's climb out. And now we're going to ascend those steps that we uh, fought the Atlantean on. Fought that crazy nuts guy. Uh, we'll see as we climb here, there's a door. Just ignore it. We're going to be coming back through there. Where we want to go is we want to go in this hole. And we want to slide all the way down. Uh, let's go ahead and take our magnums out. we got to fight a panther. Let's keep sliding. And then now the panther is going to be behind this uh, this little wall here. He's just going to come out of nowhere. And he was guarding some magnum ammo, so let's go back here and uh, grab this stuff.
Okay, so now that we have all that stuff taken care of, there is a switch over here in this little, uh, alcove. If I can hop to it. Now the switch is going to turn that slope that we used to slide down into this room into a staircase. So that we can climb it. Which is good, and, um, it also turned some other staircase into a slope. So that's pretty cool. Um... Let's continue to climb this thing until about here there's uh, some shotgun shells on this ledge. And now we want to make our way over to that other blue ledge over here. And uh, you see the save crystal, use it if you want. Um, come out into this room, you notice that you're in the same uh, pillar room with all the symbols or whatever. Uh, we're gonna go grab this Ankh. Where we drop the drawbridge. Get that thing and then now let's turn around. And go back to this ledge that we came from. Now over here you see that there's a, there's a large med pack and then there's a switch right after that. Now the switch isn't going to drop a bridge. What it's going to do is it's going to uh, it's going to do the exact opposite of what this other switch we pulled with the stairs and the slopes. It's going to do the exact opposite. Now you can go in there if you want, but there's another way we can go to drop a drawbridge. So that's where we're going to go first. And that's in this room right here. So we'll be, we'll be going back and we'll be doing that other room here in a little bit, but we're going to go in here first. Now, if one thing that we want to do while we're here, take advantage of the fact that we can get rid of some crazy nuts, guys. Alright, so you fall down here and you just hop back out and you spawn the crazy nuts, guys. Just take out your pistols. And then, uh, blow them away from here. It's gonna take a little bit, but... He likes to run around in that circle. Let's see what this guy decides to do. He prefers that circle. Oh. He's trying his buddy's method. Didn't work, though. Okay, now that they're out of the way, let's climb to the top here. Alright, now when you get to this point, you just want to kind of grab this ledge and shimmy over to the right. When you get to about here, you want to pull yourself up. There is a secret that we're going to be grabbing here. Jump and grab this ledge. And then go in back here. This is the secret. We have a large med pack. And we also have some magnum clips. Some more Magnum Clips. They're coming, uh, they're everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Magnum Clips all day. If I can even pick them up. Good job, Lara. Good job. Bad job. Wow. She's being defiant today. Alright, let's just make our way across here. There's some shotgun shells that we want to grab. Over here on this ledge, right here. Let's grab these things. And then, uh, be careful on your way back. We want to head all the way over to this point right here and fall off. And then we just kind of want to hop back. Now, there's this passageway right here, and you would have came this way if you wouldn't have gotten the secret and just continued to shimmy over to the, uh, to the side. You would eventually just came over here, and, uh, but we got the secret, so we just want to fall off here and grab this ledge and then shimmy over to the right. We're going to be doing a lot of shimmying right now. And it kind of makes you wish that the developers would have made her go just a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? Like, why does she got to go so slow? What were they thinking? Okay. Here we go. One more time. And down below is where we fought those uh, crazy nuts guys. Finally, we find the ledge here. They really didn't need to put this this far away. Okay. Uh, run and jump. There's a ledge here and, the sh and a uh, save crystal. You can grab this ledge, trust me. You just have some faith, okay? And um, inside of this room right here, there's a lever. This is going to drop a drawbridge. We're going to go there here in a little bit. But before we go do that, we want to fall down into this room. And you see why we took care of those Atlanteans now, because now we don't have to worry about them attacking us while we're climbing back out of here. 
Useful tip. Useful strategy. And once again, climb to the top. We've already, uh, we did everything that we came here for, which was pull a lever, and drop one of those bridges. And then on our way out, we may be able to grab the item that we, uh, dropped the bridge for. And there it is. Now we only have one more item. Again, we're gonna get another shot of that door. Just tap the look button if it's, if it annoys you. And head over... Back to the area where we had the slopes and the stairs. We're gonna be climbing... The slopes and the stairs. Right here is the uh, stair slope thing. This was a slope before, now it's a staircase. So we're just gonna climb all the way to the top. And then we gotta do more shimmying. Shimmying. Okay, the shimmy spot is right over here to the right. And then we get the world famous Tomb Raider 1 glitch. Like everybody that's ever played Tomb Raider 1 knows about this glitch because it's so in your face. Plain as day, everybody has seen this glitch. You would think that they would, uh, like, you have to go this way, there's no other way to go, like, it's required, so you would think that they would have programmed like that just a little bit better. Interesting. Okay, so, uh, we fall off here, and if you look to the left, you'll notice there's another slope. Does that become a staircase? Why, yes it does, and right here is the switch. Pull that thing, flip that into a staircase, and climb it. Um, when you get toward the top, you, you're not going to want to climb out of the hole here just yet. There's a uh, crazy nuts guy bouncing around up here. Uh, just uh, grab your magnums or your pistols or whatever you feel like using, and just kind of hold jump in action, and she'll uh, eventually take care of this guy. Two shots at a time is kind of annoying, but... Eventually, the job gets taken care of, and you can climb out safely. Here's a switch. This is going to drop the last bridge. The last bridge. So we're going to go down there here in a little bit. There's a small med pack here that we can grab. And a save crystal if you want to save your game. Let's pull this lever. I'm going to open this door, and this is going to take us right back to where we were when we started. We went into that hole, and we slid down. Uh, here's the staircase and everything, so we're right back where we started, which gives us perfect access to this secret that we were uh, talking about before, or to those items, which happen to be a secret, by the way. Um, so we're going to aim ourselves directly for it, run and jump, don't need to grab in the air, she'll land perfectly safe on top of the uh, pillar. Grab the items, and then we're not done, there's yet another secret, there's two secrets back to back here. If we look at that ornament, we aim directly for it, and we jump from the corner of this pillar, we will land directly on top of the next secret. Now this is in fact a secret, didn't chime, but it is a secret. It has two things of uh, Uzi clips and a large med pack. Fall off on the right side, and then we will come out over here where we can claim the last piece that we need. And this is gonna finally open that door down below. And we can go in there, and I'll just kind of run off this bridge. On the left side, if you turn to the right, you'll see the doorway right there. We can swim through here. Now, there's uh, three items that we need to claim before we go get some air. There is some magnum clips right here in this little cubby. And then, that's to the left, and uh, then uh, the, in the second set, there's two items. There's a small med pack, and then behind me there's some shotgun shells. Let's grab these things, and then... Just continue to swim. As you can see, it's a long corridor. And we're kind of running a little low on breath. We will be getting air before we uh, dive back into the water to claim some of these other items that are going to be in the water here. Just, uh... Surface here. And get some breath. You heard the crazy nuts guy up there. Yeah, we gotta deal with him. Uh, here in a little bit. I'll show you how to... Uh, properly address this guy, because he's, uh, depending on where he's standing, you kind of got to know where he's at before you get out of the water, otherwise, um, you might get out of the water right on top of him, that's bad. But anyway, a bunch of, uh, items, there's three items down there, grab all that stuff, I'm gonna get out here in the back, where you see a solid wall, use the, uh, magnums.
Now he's taken care of. Awesome. And over there is the exit. Before we go through the exit, there's a save crystal right there if you want it. Uh, climb up this wall. There is some magnum ammo. Pick him up. And then now we can head through that exit. Okay, and now if you look to the right, that may look a little familiar. That was from the last level. Sort of hints of where we're going. Um, oh, I fell down. I can't believe it. Am I going to die? I'm not going to die. Well, we uh, entered this room. You can shoot at him from a safety, actually. I got unfortunately unlucky, unlucky there. Uh, over here is a large med pack. Large med pack. Pick that up. Now where we're at, we're actually at the back end of the Sphinx that we saw at the very beginning of the last video. This is the back end of it. Um, and over here is uh, the exit. Uh, it was a slope in the last level. Well, now it's a stair and we can fall down. Just, I don't see why they just didn't make it a slope, but whatever. Maybe we needed to go back. So this all looks familiar, okay? We were just here. There's the pillar with all of the receptacles. We have the items this time, and we're going to put those in there. But before we do that, we wanted to um, hop on the other side of this block. Inside of here, there is some shotgun shells. Let's claim that. And a keyhole. Well, we don't have a key. We, I mean, we already know where that heads, that leads to. Um, now that we have everything we need, let's go put all these items into the pillar. Now, you gotta match the, uh, the hole with the item. So this one... You know, looks like the scarab, so let's claim the scarab and put that in the hole. And we just do that all the way around. Keep doing that. It's top to the left or to the right, doesn't matter. This one sort of looks like the scarab and it's kind of confusing, but it's just the uh, seal of Anubis. They're the two items that look similar, with a similar shape, so... Um, only difference is like color and some texture detail. And here is the, uh, where the Ankh goes. And then finally, we have the Eye of Horus that goes into this receptacle here. The door opens, we approach the door and go through it to end the level. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Bass Games. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you guys in the next one. Um, I am missing one kill, or I'm sorry, two kills because of those two Atlanteans I decided to pass up. And um, you guys take it easy.